The ULN 2003 IC consists of seven high voltage, high current NPN Darlington transistor arrays, each rated at 50 volt, 500 milliamp in a 16 pin DIP package. You can connect the IC directly to a digital logic like Arduino or Raspberry Pi, TTL or 5 volt CMOS device without an external dropping resistor. This IC features common cathode flyback diodes for switching inductive loads. The ULN 2003 is known for its high current and high voltage capacity. The Darlington pairs can be paralleled for higher current output. The inputs are capable with TTL and 5V CMOS logics. Now let's deep dive and check out the internals of the IC and how it can be used in our projects. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can also order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need to the greatest extent. The notch on the top indicates the starting and stopping point of the numberings on the chip. Starting from left to right, going counterclockwise, this is pin number 1 of the IC. On the left hand side, pin number 1 to 7 are the base inputs. On the right hand side, pin number 10 to 16 are the collector outputs. Pin number 9 is the common cathode for flyback diodes required for inductive loads. And pin number 8 is the common emitter shared by all channels of the IC. This pin is typically tied to ground. Inside the IC is the array of the 7 NPN Darlington transistors. Darlington transistors were first invented in 1953 by Sydney Darlington. A Darlington pair is a circuit consisting of two bipolar transistors with the emitter of one transistor connected to the base of the other transistor. The current amplified by the first transistor is further amplified by the second transistor. The collector of both transistors are connected together. This configuration has a much higher current gain than each transistor taken separately. A small base current can make the pair switch to a much higher current. It appears as if it is just a single transistor with one base, one collector and one emitter creating a current gain approximately to the product of the gains of the two transistors. Since beta 1 and beta 2 are high enough, we can write this statement as beta Darlington is similar to beta 1 times beta 2. This connection creates the effect of a single transistor with a very high current gain. The seven outputs are all open collector. By open collector, we mean a collector that is not attached to anything. It's just open. In order for an open collector output device to work, the open collector has to receive sufficient power. In order for an NPN transistor to work, the collector and base both need to receive sufficient power. The base turns the transistor on and then a much greater current flows from the collector to emitter but only if the collector has sufficient positive voltage. So if you want to connect a load to the output of the chip with the open collector output, you must attach the load to a positive voltage source that is sufficient enough to drive the load. Hence, the positive side of the load connects to the positive voltage rail and the negative side connects to the output pin of the IC. Hence, when the base current goes high, current flows from the collector to emitter and the output logic goes low, turning on the LED connected to the output pin of the IC and vice versa. The maximum output current of a single output pin is 500 milliamps and the total emitter terminal current is 2.5 amps as per the data sheet. Now let's have a closer look at a single Darlington pair of the ULN 2003 IC. The GPIO input voltage is converted to base current through a series of 2.7 kilo ohm resistor connected between the input and base of the Darlington NPN junction. This allows the IC to connect directly to a digital logic like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, TTL or 5V CMOS device without the need of an external dropping resistor operating at a supply voltage of 5V or 3.3V. The 7.2 kilo ohm and the 3 kilo ohm resistors connected between the base and the emitter of each respective NPN transistor 
acts as a pull down resistor preventing floating states and suppressing the amount of leakage that may occur from the input to maximize the effectiveness these unit contains suppression diodes for inductive loads the diode connects between the out pin and the com pin pin number 9 is used to suppress kickback voltage from an inductive load which is generated when the npn drivers are turned off and the stored energy of the coil causes a reverse flow of the current a reverse biased suppression diode is also placed between the base emitter and the collector emitter pair to avoid the parasitic nature of the npn transistors pin number 8 is connected to ground in case of an inductive load when the comp pin is tied to a coil the ic is able to drive inductive loads and suppress the kickback voltage through the internal free wheeling diodes when driving a resistive load a pull-up resistor is needed in order for the ic to sync the current and maintain a logic high level in this case the comp pin can be left floating this device can operate over a wide temperature range between minus 40 to 105 degrees centigrade. Now let's hook this IC to a circuit. As we know, ULN2003 IC can easily drive a high current or high voltage or both device which a microcontroller or a logic device cannot tolerate. Hence, they are widely used in driving inductive loads like motors, solenoids and relays. In my first example, I'm going to light up few LEDs using this IC. I have connected 7 LEDs to the 7 out pins of the IC via 220 ohm resistor. On my left are the 7 inputs directly interfaced to either a microcontroller or a TTL digital logic. When a logic high is sent to the input pin, the corresponding output pin goes low, lighting up the LED. In my second example, I'm driving a unipolar stepper motor using this IC. In this setup, I'm using pin number 1 to 4 for input and pin number 13 to 16 for output. Each out pin is rated at 500 milliamps. Pin number 9 has the spike suppressor diode and is connected to the positive terminal. By sending combinations of zeros and ones to the four input pins, we can rotate our stepper motor. I have used this setup in my award-winning video tutorial, Node MCU-based 3D printed gauge thermometer. The link is in the description below. In my third example, I'm going to light a few AC light bulbs using this IC. For high voltage applications, we can use relays to control motors, heaters, lamps or AC circuits which themselves can draw a lot more electrical voltage, current and therefore power. We can hook up a maximum of 7 relays to this IC. In my setup, I have connected 4 relays to the 4 out pins of the IC. An AC light bulb is connected to the normally open pin of the relay. When we send a digital high to the input pin, the corresponding output pin goes low and current flows through the coil pulling the armature, completing the circuit and hence lighting up the 220 volt light bulb. Same as the previous setup, pin number 9 with the suppressor diode is tied back to the positive terminal. In my fourth example, I'm going to show you guys how to obtain more than 500 milliamps of current at the output. As we know that each of the output pins are rated at 500 milliamps, then how can I drive a 1 amp device? All we have to do is tie 3 of the output pins on the outside and 3 of the corresponding input pins on the input side. Now the 3 input pins and the 3 output pins act like a single input and output pin. So basically we can parallel the inputs to get a higher amplified value of paralleled output. You may ask, why did I combine 3 inputs and 3 outputs and not just 2? As per the data sheet, each pin is rated at 500 milliamps, but the total output is 2.5 amps. Hence, 2.5 amps divided by 7 pins is equal to 0.36 approximately. So, 0.36 times 3 pins is equal to 1.07 amps approximately, which is what we want. The ULN2003 IC produced by Texas Instruments can be used for driving motor and solenoids, can be used as a relay driver for high voltage application, to drive high current loads using digital circuits, to drive high current LEDs, to create a water level indicator, as a LED and gas discharge display driver, can also be used as a logic buffer in digital circuits, and more. For more information about the packaging and the material used, please have a look at the data sheet. 
The link is in the description below. Always consult a manufacturer's data sheet before assuming industrial conventions, no matter how intuitive or obvious they may be. In the face of ambiguity, refuse the temptation of guess by Zen of Python. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.